Hi, this is Shashank. I'm a solutions engineer with CVE department here at Zoom Video Communications. And today I'll be demonstrating how to integrate Zoom webinars with HubSpot. Now there are many different ways in which Zoom webinars can take registrations. You can use our own registration URLs or you can import your contacts uh, via CSV into Zoom webinars directly into a portal that uh, adds registrations in bulk or you can use APIs or you can use uh, custom integrations like Zapier workflows. Uh, for today's lab, I'm using uh, HubSpot. I have signed up with a developer uh, account. I've got webinar licenses in my Zoom environment. And let's go ahead, let's get cracking. All right, so the very first thing that we uh, will check is my integrations in the app marketplace. As you can see, I just have one for Zoom phone for HubSpot. There's nothing for Zoom webinars. And um, in HubSpot, what I need to do is click on the gear icon over here. And under integrations, go with go under connected apps. And there's one for Outlook calendar with my Hotmail, but I need to add more. So I'll just go to the app marketplace. Search for Zoom. Click on the first one. Install app. So it gives a prompt. You're about to add Zoom for HubSpot. I can verify if that's the right ID. Can review the permissions and everything. And then finally click allow. The page refreshes and I do see that Zoom uh, app has been added in my connected app section inside of HubSpot. I'll just go back to the app, app marketplace in Zoom and I'll refresh this just to confirm and that shows over here as well. It has been added just at 5.59 p.m. a minute ago. Let's go back to HubSpot. Now, what we need to do over here is first verify what all I have created. So if I just go into marketing and forms, that's the very first thing that I did actually to create the slab. I've created a HubSpot form. Uh, I was testing, so you'll see the value two. Uh, once we do the real demo, this value should bump up to three. But let's first see how that form looks and what it contains. Again, a very basic form with a banner and a few fields. Now what we'll do is, we'll quickly verify the landing pages. So I've created two landing pages. The very first one is what you will uh, flash in your campaigns because you are taking registrations via HubSpot. So I've created uh, a very basic looking landing page, but I have referenced the form inside here. I've added that as a module. And whenever someone fills out this uh, form inside this landing page, they will be redirected to the second landing page, which should be uh, something like thank you for registering again it should be more comprehensive i've just created something very vanilla uh yeah now i also set up email triggers when a contact registers they should be getting an email from hubspot i've connected my email domain with it uh, we'll see if that works or not uh, this is my first time testing that now what we need to do is first of all create a webinar in zoom with registrations enabled so let's go and name this webinar, getting started, hyphen HubSpot, Zoom integrations. And I need to enable registrations for it. Let's say I keep this at 11 p.m. We don't have to launch the webinar, we just have to show the integration, whether the contacts are syncing or not but you can review everything in your own time. Click schedule. And now my webinar is scheduled. So what I'm concerned with uh, over here is my webinar ID. This is a unique identifier. I'll just copy this value. It ends with 4468. Let's go back to my HubSpot. Go to my integration. Click connected apps over here. 
click zoom scroll down and you do see 4468 so as you can see i was testing a few minutes ago it shows one from before as well uh, but this is the one which i have actually created the one with the hyphen all right so now my webinar is created uh, the synchronization uh, is happening between zoom and hubspot now what i need to do is create an automated workflow so i'll just create a workflow from scratch it should be a contact based workflow because we are taking contacts so very, the very first trigger that we need to set up is that whenever a person clicks on the form and submits it uh, an action should be triggered so first for the form submission we'll select this one getting started with hubspot form and click save the next action should be just search for zoom over here add contact to zoom webinar and now paste the webinar value 4468 click save now for contacts to receive emails from hubspot they need to be marked as marketing contacts again set up an action set uh, search for set marketing set marketing contact status So whenever contact is registered, it should be marked as a marketing contact. Click save. Now you can even add uh, certain delays between your triggers. Let's say I want to add a delay of a minute uh, between this trigger and the next one, which would be email. And that should be time based. I'll just set it to one minute. I hope this really works guys <laughs> and then finally search for email send an email to the contact so that's a very basic looking uh, email that that should go out let's see click save again i'm not a hubspot expert i i really hope this works <laughs> all right now i'll just review and publish uh, wait before i do that i should just see the settings one more time the workflow can run anytime yeah yeah all right i'm not gonna touch too much over here i'll just go back and review and publish click next next oops yeah Next, next. All right, so my workflow is on. Let's go to my landing page. I've already copied the URL and I'll just refresh this actually. Now, let's quickly first verify my webinar itself. In the invitations, it does show zero guys, right? Nobody has registered. And this webinar is also the one ending with 4468. Perfect. Going back. Submitting via zoominear.com, phone number 123. It's just a test. All right, so I see the right splash page. So far, so good. I'll just minimize this. Go to the invitations. Set to zero for now. Let's go back to invitations again. Oh, there we go. So that works. 
that's a good sign guys the very first registrant has come in at 6 8 pm awesome you can even send recent confirmation emails if those haven't arrived but we will uh, verify what's coming in or not in a minute let's go back to the workflow uh, we should have ideally named this workflow second yeah all right going back let's first check if my contact is actually showing in my crm or not all right so that shows the phone number has synced in create date 6 7 pm all right so that looks perfect if i go back to my campaigns i already tagged uh, my campaigns to this all these workflows i'll just go inside this one perfect so yeah as i showed you earlier guys there was already a value of two now that has bumped up to three uh, because I was doing some testing earlier as well. All right, now let's go back and check emails. If those have come in, the integration so far looks perfect. All right, so I have I, I do see an email from Zoom. I have not received that email from HubSpot. Probably I did something wrong uh, in my automated email workflows. Probably something is going wrong between uh, Outlook and HubSpot. I'll just uh, check on that later. Uh, but the good thing is that email has come in in the Outlook and there are some buttons and attendee can just add it to the calendar manually or even if they forget to do that, uh, they should they should still see it. So here that's the one shashanksan at zoomineer.com and today is 19th that's the webinar yep 9 p.m so even if somebody forgets to add that invite manually by hitting accept that placeholder still blocks the uh, i mean the calendar is still blocked right uh, which is what you want all right so that approves that integration between Zoom and HubSpot uh, is quite simple to create. <laughs> it hardly took me five to 10 minutes to do that. Uh, in the next video, we will also do the same integration for Zoom sessions or Zoom events. We'll see how that goes. All right, thank you for watching. See you in the next one.